Hi everyone, I'm Louise and today I am going to be going through some of the resources that you can use for beginners for reading the tea leaves. So you can see I've got some cups set out here. Obviously um, you don't need all this to start with. Some of these things can be quite pricey and obviously when we're starting out we don't want to have much of an initial outlay. So these cups here, if you wanted to use them, you'd obviously aspire to saving up for that type of thing if you wanted to use them, which you don't have to if you don't want to. So I would suggest that to begin even thinking about tea leaf reading, that you start to learn about symbols so the first thing you could do for free is get a dream app on your phone or bookmark a dream website uh, a good website is um, dreammoods.com and there's a um, an app you can have on your phone if you put dreams in the Google Play or iPhone whatever it is um, you can find a good dream app. I say dreams because that it's the symbolism that we need um, and the dreams have similar meanings to the tea leaf reading meanings. Also a good resource is Auntie Flo's dream uh, sorry, Auntie Flo uh, website, that has a lot of um, free tea leaf reading meanings. So there's some free stuff you can look at. I would start to notice your dreams and make a dream diary. Because once you've started to work out what symbols mean to you, then you're going to be able to work with things a lot better. Um, so, for example, you might see things in a dictionary, say like a cat. Some people like cats, some people don't like cats. But you've got to think about what a cat means to you. So I would recommend start to gather symbols. Every time a symbol comes up, if you meditate in, um, you know, say you see a cat or you start seeing, um, what's the word, synchronicity with cats, start to write it down and then find out what it means on a, in a dream dictionary or a tea leaf dictionary. Um, or on Pinterest or on Google and then think about the positives and negatives of a cat and the indifferent and think about what it means to you what does a cat mean to you and I would and if you dream about a cat then I would recommend keeping a dream diary and what I started to do I had so don't get overwhelmed with it all to start with I um any type of divination it can get overwhelmed tarot I've made a video about flower divination as well you can get overwhelmed with it with all the information out there don't don't try not to do that have a look at it all but then make your own system make your own dictionary um keep a word thing on your computer or just write notes and oh i've got apple today uh apple's significant in my life today find out the meanings of apple what does apple mean to you and then just type it up or write it down and make a few um observations about an apple or a zebra or whatever it is um and then slowly start to type out an A to Z dictionary for yourself. And then as it, each time a symbol comes up, you can learn what it means to you. 
because trying to learn somebody else's dictionary is a bit hard because if you don't say for the cat example if you hate cats then and this other person this other dictionary like cats then you're not going to relate to that are you so I would suggest first of all getting acquainted with symbols now so we'll start with books I've got this book is an old book I always find for some reason second-hand books seem to be better the older ones because perhaps they've got older information which would be in danger of losing perhaps this is tea leaf reading for beginners your fortune in a teacup by caroline dow caroline dow you can still get this it's second hand i think i got it off ebay so that's quite a good book it has different um different areas with the quite a good dictionary in it's not in an a to z so you have to kind of look around it's got all about you know dashes dots lines um, it's got animals architecture birds body parts playing cards clothing common objects flowers musical instruments natural world numbers and letters I forgot that was in here actually numbers and letters people plants etc etc zodiac I would recommend um, learning some very basic numerology like the numbers 1 0 to 9 um, because that might be significant and maybe a bit about letters what letters can mean as well so if you want to invest in a big book I've got this massive book here it's the illustrated signs and symbols source book an A to Z compendium of over a thousand designs by Adele Nezidar I don't know if you can see all that it's quite pricey book but it's got everything in it I don't actually use this I ought to but it's whew, it's got everything you could need but probably not everything you need you know <laughs> so that's um, something you can look at but I think the best places are charity shops car boot sales yard sales secondhand shops um, eBay second-hand dream books tea leaf reading books you don't need to spend a lot on new books new books are good but yeah uh, if you really want to a dream dictionary but as I say you can get free stuff off the web or on apps right so that's books covered Um, we'll talk about courses now no we won't we'll talk about Pinterest Pinterest has some good information so you can search there's um if you put tea leaf reading or tassiomancy or tassiography they all mean the same thing so courses if you really want to get into this i've got two courses i can recommend what i've done both first is tea with karen um karen dalton smith is an expert in all this she's australian um, it's her life work tea leaf reading charm casting um, she's got a course um, she also has a good Facebook group um, where you can practice in safety and um, and you can get advice and help so she does a really good course um, and then there's a course from a company called Centre of Excellence um, that's a British company uh, but they do you can do course you can do it if you live abroad as well there you can get about you can get so they always have money off and their courses are always about 30 pounds that's good that's got um, some different things in it to what Karen does um, there's some 
practical they've both got practical examples but these are slightly different so that's an interesting resource uh, so what else have we got so what I would say is these can be quite pricey start off with a good cup so I don't know when I was looking for a cup I could never find one I'd go to the charity shop and they're always either chipped or whatever I only just found this one recently and this was four pound and it was from Tesco from the local supermarket and I'm so happy with it this is the perfect cup for tea leaf reading so quite snazzy and posh lovely on the outside wide so you can see all around it perfect for tea leaf reading and it gives really good results tea now you can use tea bags if you've not got anything um, if you're short of money get a cup from the supermarket uh, if you're really short of money just use a tea bag and split it open a quarter of a teaspoon of tea in the bottom I will try and find Karen's um, video on how to set up the cup and how to brew the tea and everything there's a special way of turning it turning turning it sort of go it's a bit hard to show on here you turn <laughs> you turn turn and roll to get the tea out <laughs> but i'm not going to go into that today so um perfect tea well i've been started working with this it's called ceylon fair trade fine tea so it's ceylon tea and it's from local supermarket again sainsbury's in the uk so ceylon tea is perfect and i've had some good comments about how this works so There's my Ceylon tea and it gives big leaves. You want things that give quite big leaves. They show up the images really well. Now, if you start to specialise in different types of tea leaf reading, I've started working with different herbs. This can be for the future. So um, if you wanted to concentrate on love romance readings for people or yourself um got rose petal tea here that gives a different effect you can't pick that up it's beautiful um pinky red can't really see in the light what it's like but that's rose petal tea and i've started doing mediumship tea leaf readings which I'm going to start doing on this channel very soon. Um, and what I found out is you could use a herb called mugwort. Um, it doesn't taste very nice in my opinion. <laughs> but mugwort's good for psychic work. So I sometimes use that for mediumship. But you don't have to, you can use your own Ceylon tea or whatever, Assam, whatever. Uh, English breakfast is good. Just experiment um, with what you've got in your usual shopping trip. I wouldn't go mad because things can be a bit expensive, can't they, these days? So, <coughs> excuse me. Right then, Ooh, some of my teas fell into the cup there. Right, so. As I said, I would recommend doing some basic research, perhaps doing a course, perhaps looking on Pinterest, seeing what you can find out, printing stuff out and having a read. I would recommend getting your inexpensive £4 cup and then seeing what other people say and then making your own mind up every time you do a reading 
say out loud or to yourself how you're going to set out your cup. So, if you wanted to have a past and a future reading, you just say, I dedicate this cup to the left for the past and to the right for the future. Or I want, you're going to divide it, I, I divide it like this into how many months? No longer than a year. So I don't know, I'm going to do a four week reading. So I'm going to divide it into four weeks. Can use a pencil to um, work out the different areas. Um, I'm today I'm going to do a love life reading. Every time you do a reading, dedicate it to what you desire. So I think most people would agree that the handle is what's closest to your heart, what's most important to you. So this would be quite, the area around here might be quite important if you choose to dedicate that. I dedicate the bottom as what stands out the most. Some people might dedicate that as bad luck. I don't really agree, I don't really believe in luck as being good and bad luck so I I tend to think as that has been the most important but this most in, closest to my soul desire my heart's desire and then maybe I would put past and present and future I would whatever I'm thinking today I would um, dedicate when I'm doing mediumship readings I, what I do, sometimes I'll have male ancestors on the right, sorry, I'm in the camera, it's one way around, right, and the female ancestors on the left. Or I might have father's family this side, mother's family this side. I'm working with that at the moment, but I might just abandon that. <laughs> Because the big coming up everywhere. So there's old wives' tales, isn't there, and all this lot. Follow any sort of system that you feel comfortable with. You don't let anybody drag you down, you know, that's been doing it years. Oh, you can only do it this way. You can only do it this way. You can only do it that way. Do it what feels right to you. People say, oh, well, I know I've been handed down. All these psychics that say, oh, I'm a seventh son of a seventh son of a seventh. I'm a genuine psychic from five million years ago. Well, I'm sorry, but how do we know all that? <laughs> how do you know all that? You're as good as the next person, and we're all psychic, aren't we? Well, And um, don't feel that what you have to offer isn't good because you're not experienced as the other person. We've all got to start somewhere. So yeah, divide your cup up and think what you're going to do every time you do a reading for yourself or somebody else. Just dedicate it and think about how you're going to divide it. And then eventually you'll develop your own system. Often people want a general reading. For a general reading, I would advise going along the same lines every single time for love or career readings or whatever you want you can think about oh this is for Sally Sally wants to know about her love life in the next three months you could do I'm going to set it up so I'm going to divide it into the three months so yeah when you get a bit more experienced you might want to look into the world of fortune telling cups. <clears throat> I have three. The first one I got was from Karen Dalton Smith and she is wonderful. It's wonderful what she does. She um, is reproducing 
um, this old way, old system of fortune telling cups in a modern style. So it, it's lovely. It's really nice. You've got all these symbols, and you get you get um, some notes with it, a little booklet that tells you what it means, what each symbol means, and. It's a bit different when you use fortune telling cups. You don't look at the patterns so much. You look at where the tea falls on. You write a little, um, like a little story. So if the tea fell on the house and the man, you try and link the symbols of the house and the man together. And sometimes it's good to see where there's no tea on because that can be as significant. With tea leaf reading, you have to think outside the box because death, as you know in tarot and everything, death doesn't usually mean death, it means an ending. So you just got to think outside the box. The problem is with some of these fortune telling cups, for people who are short sighted like me, you can't, when you've actually got the tea on there, you can't hardly see very well. You have to get your knitting needle or pencil and try and move it out the way the second cup I got I was very excited because I wanted this for ages and it's called the Ainsley's cup of knowledge the only thing it's a lovely lovely cup and it's based on fortune um um playing cards it's fantastic it's but the thing is I can't use it because I just I mean I just can't see. <laughs> I am on, on and off learning um, playing card divination, but it's so hard with my eyesight. <laughs> so hopefully I will be able to get round to using this one day, but it's, it's lovely. I'm going to hang on to it, but it's quite hard to read. Now, <clears throat> this is my favourite. I've had this about three months four months and this one is called the Romany fortune telling cup um, and this is my favorite and I love how it's set out and all the symbols are amazing it's numbered 1 to 52 1 to 52 now as soon as I got this I didn't, well, I told you my own advice, I took my own advice and I wrote down a explanation of every symbol. So we start off, number one is the bird. So I'd write something like communication. Number two, the car, you know, the way forward in life, three arrow direction. Uh, number four, I've forgotten what number four is. It's not easy to see, um, but I've written it down. I worked out what it was. Number five is the dragon. And then we've got um, a tree, a ring, um, a maple leaf, spider, sun, swan, apple, frog, wheel, thimble, um, a sword, etc., etc. It's 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 a really good rounded tea leaf cup and I'm going to do a spring forecast for us with that soon so I love that one and I'm going to do most of my fortune telling readings with that some other cups um, we have the Nelros um, you may have heard of the cup of destiny we have Ian Messiter we have Royal Kendall Taltos, the Romany Fortune, which is this one, the Ainsley Cup of Knowledge, which is this one. Um, now, some of these others, they're very nice, very lovely, but they tend to be based on astrology. There's nothing wrong with that. I like astrology. I do, I do dabble a bit in astrology myself, but I, I'm not really sure I want to do it in tea leaf reading because you'd have to think I don't know you, you you'd have to know a lot about these star signs to combine 
the tea leaf reading with the star signs and I actually prefer the the um, actual symbols. Another way to help with um, tea leaf reading is to do study charm casting because the charms are a representation of the tea leaves on a mat or um, a board. So that will be a good way just to get some inexpensive charms from the charity shop or um, you know from one of these sites from China if you can be bothered to wait six weeks for them to arrive. So I think that's it. If you've got any questions please leave some comments in the box below. I'm not a, I'm nowhere near an expert. I'm going off slightly into um, mediumship with tea leaf reading now so I'm going to start doing that on the channel so um, yeah so really I, as I say I would recommend a good easy clear cup from the supermarket Ceylon something like Ceylon or Assam tea from the supermarket uh, loose tea um, and an app for dreams or tea leaf reading on your phone or the internet and write down start to learn about symbols so I hope that's of interest to you and have a lovely weekend bye